Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. I'm so glad to participate in this forum. Um, I'm really happy to share my research with all you. The name of my work is Merging Content and Language to Develop Hearts. It's a proposal based on teaching across the curriculum. For introducing the topic of my research, my proposal, um, I want to let you know that it's a, a work based on teaching across the curriculum approach. And the uh, purpose is to foster students' critical thinking, you know, to enhance their high order thinking skills and effective learning skills. The objectives of my research are both to achieve internal teaching across the curriculum by means of content from different areas of knowledge and the integration of language in a transversal way in a specific course called Strategies for Learning a Foreign Language. This course is part of the curriculum of the BA in English language at Universidad Veracruzana. The second objective is external teaching across the curriculum. In other words, to take the content from the strategies class and transversally impact on other learning experiences in the program. That is English courses, culture content, and reading and writing classes. So those are two concept, concepts I manage in my proposal. I also aim at developing high order thinking skills, as I said before, to integrate formative and summative evaluation, and finally to work in a collaborative fashion among colleagues, professors, teachers, for enroll in the BA in English language, which is fundamental, specifically the Academy of Strategies, and the teachers from uh, the English courses. The uh, foundations and rationale of my proposal uh, lies on the school's needs. And it goes from the uh, official papers, descriptions, and in, in, in necessities to what is happening in our classrooms regarding English language. First of all, in the strategies course, I uh, proposed to include psychology, education, and linguistics content. And to work on that content, by means of a four main activities or tasks, according to the constructivist approach. One, a response paper, which is gonna be described in what follows. An observation, a presentation, and a vocabulary chart. Regarding the response paper, uh, I can tell you this is an academic piece of writing it's a um, it's a, an attempt for students to write academically for the very first time and to show knowledge of the content seen in the class. Um, the, they need to follow the specific guidelines and, 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 and to represent personality types and motivation uh, relating content. Um, this response paper is uh, is to be named students identity construction uh, and and well it includes both cognitive and metacognitive skills to be represented in a written form the second evidence is an observation where students need to go and observe their classmates in order to identify their learning styles and strategies. This might work as a mere reflect, as if they re reflect 
on others' characteristics that are likely to recognize themselves and to appreciate differences as well as commonalities. It's been surprisingly um, interesting to observe and check how students actually look at themselves and others and how this reflection actually leads to self-awareness of what strategies and styles are. Um, and this is the second activity I set. The third one is a presentation on um, cultural awareness. Language and culture are connected and students need to reflect on how learning a foreign or a second language might address second language learning as well. This is um, um, based on Brown's uh, a, a theory of uh, language learning strategies and strategies for success. Um, the students will be able to discriminate and, 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 and observe the differences between their own culture and others in order to compare the um, difficulties, potential difficulties, commonalities, and differences. The fourth task I suggest implementing is a vocabulary chart, which is uh, quite connected with the English courses and in order to achieve this teaching across the curriculum approach, it's important to consider different elements from other classes. And that's why um, I, I decided to propose this task, which um, aims at demonstrating how students should employ each of the words according to the um, um, uh, part of the speech they belong to and show uh, the pronunciation with the help of the International Phonetic Alphabet, you know, managing a couple of uh, uh, phonemes and use the words in context in order to um, contextualize a, 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 the English classes in a, in a, a potential real environment. This is a chart that shows a very clear connection among content, tasks, learning experiences, that is courses, high order thinking skills, and the verbs in Bloom's taxonomy. For example, the response paper, which is supposed to uh, carry psychology related content and have an impact on the course uh, related to literacy skills, introduction to reading and writing and the main uh, uh, um, uh, high order thinking skills to develop will be create, creating. You know? um, the, the second task, observation, and then you have education with learning styles and strategies to have an impact on the course of teaching and learning. And the result, the high order thinking skill will be evaluating, which is a stage of looks taxonomy the classification of higher all the thinking skills and lower all the thinking skills. Number three, the presentation content from uh, social linguistics to have an impact on the courses related to, to, to culture and the result according to Bloom's taxonomy analyzing. And finally, a vocabulary chart which might be impacting the language courses, which is very important for our language learners level. This is a, a chart that shows a, the previously mentioned verbs according to Bloom's taxonomy in order for you to corroborate what I decided to use for each of the tasks I proposed. Then uh, a representation of uh, merging high order thinking skills content and language across the curriculum in a, a in, in a in this uh, um, in this uh, graph, which is internal teaching across the curriculum, external teaching across the curriculum, um, you have a, a, the tasks I, I set here the 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 the, the, the different um, um, tasks I suggested, and finally the high order thinking skills to be developed. 
during the course and by establishing specific instructions. Here you have a, also how I suggested implementing the different aims for development and the teaching strategies from the course, material selection and adaptation, reading and appropriating that reading, that theory into uh, a student's own uh, um, life so that it can be meaningful and lifelong learning. Um, of course, uh, they are called tasks according to the constructivist approach. Um, um, uh, uh, taking into consideration previous uh, uh, knowledge from students and their schematas, as well as a, a future uh, and potential experiences they may um, face. And well, uh, the, the, the development of arguments, construction of analysis and metacognition, as well as high order thinking skills are involved in the process of the tasks in order to uh, um, create a nice environment for learning with tolerance, respect, inclusion, integration, collaborative work. In order to propose this, I had to carry out research and um, some colleagues at the university and I did carry out this uh, uh, study in order to identify the students' characteristics by court. And it was carried out in 2016 and 17 in order to identify whether they were able to work online and their needs for uh, them to be covered you know, in the uh, strategies course and the English courses to try to work collaboratively. I also propose the implementation of an electronic portfolio. Electronic portfolio seem to be a good option for uh, this day and age, since uh, education is facing uh, changes because of the lockdown, the pandemic we're suffering at the moment, and uh, you know, uh, how we had to work at home compulsorily and well, uh, electronic portfolios uh, include uh, in the education agenda, the inclusion of information and communication technologies as well as uh, technologies apply for knowledge and for the empowerment and participation. So the idea is to use electronic portfolios to store and keep track of students progress, development, performance. This is a, a definition of an e-portfolio um, according to Davenport and, and Prozac uh, to enhance students' learning by giving them a, a, bit, a better um, understanding of their skills as well as where and how they need to work on regarding their own objectives. Well, this is the context, you know, uh, Universidad Veracruzana, and, and, you know, I uh, propose to use the institutional platform, which is E minus, but it could also be applied with a Google Drive or administered by Edmodo. It all depends on the context. For the purposes of this proposal, E minus was the one which I decided to implement for the reasons you can see in the slide. Another of the objectives was uh, to merge formative and summative evaluation. That is assessment for development and assessment of the progress of students in, a, in the integration of an e-portfolio. In bold, you can see the highlighted uh, 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 tasks I suggested for Kavlavi chart a presentation, a response paper, an observation. This, of course, is to be uh, done by a proper evaluation and by setting the evaluation criteria with the students. Uh, that's why I suggested designing these scoring rubrics for the students to know what is expected from them for each of the tasks. This is just an example for the observation but of course, it can be adapted to, um, uh, to uh, this context or for the alike. 
there are some implications for this implementation I'm suggesting. Uh, the first one is a need for collaborative work between colleagues and groups of teachers. If academies uh, work together, we likely to uh, benefit the students to favor the learning. Otherwise, it gets really complex to work in a teaching across the curriculum proposal. That's why the unification of efforts between academies and in all the areas of knowledge at the BA in this program uh, uh, is paramount. So uh, what I'm doing in order to work collaboratively is to uh, set online networks and, uh, and, and to work by using a, a OneDrive and, and, and to provide with uh, innovative and attractive projects for teachers to engage. This is very important. Uh, another of the implications for my proposal is um, it, 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 to share materials, to work in a collaborative manner implies to exchange what we do in the classroom. And uh, number three, uh, another potential implication of my proposal is to come up with a new and um, pertinent uh, classification of language learning strategies. And at the moment, I'm um, finishing my PhD in uh, the construction of language learning strategies, and hopefully, I will come up with a, a, some suggestions for, uh, from the data I collected, uh, and and it, well, it might be relevant for uh, this context and, and similar contexts, you know, settings where language learning strategies um, uh, need to be very specific. Uh, number four, uh, a guidebook of strategies for both teachers and learners might emerge from uh, for the research, and that might be helpful for um, for all actors in education, even for um, uh, authorities. More implications: well, to work collaboratively with uh, the following courses teaching English through liter literature, reading and writing skills, and to merge the following uh, uh, courses, teaching uh, content, teaching literature strategies, psychology, reading and writing English. Um, um, more implications, well, there is a need for more research on high other thinking skills in this context. Uh, and, and and also you know continuous training for teachers to work on the, a, a, the refreshment of a, the syllabus and the curriculum design in order to make proper decisions and a potential change in evaluation regarding language learning uh, whether a standardization or formative evaluation so we need to discuss together the um, best option for our context. And of course, to think of curriculum design in order to, um, well, listen to what is needed and uh, make decisions properly. Finally, my conclusions, in order to merge content, language, and high order thinking skills into a curriculum, the courses need to be connected. They need to be linked, otherwise, it, it's going to be really complex and articulating efforts in order to merge content, hearts and language, uh, we need to reach consensus regarding uh, what a new portfolio is and, and, and to uh, consolidate assessment criteria. These are my references for you to check, to read carefully. You will see. And well, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, I'm gonna take care of your questions, queries, or comments, okay? Thank you very much. I do appreciate it.